Okay, this is how you upload all the condo floor plans uh, into my uh, computer. First, I need all the condominiums done for Downtown Living Miami. DowntownLivingMiami.com. Scroll down to the bottom. These are all the condominiums that we need done. To find the condominiums, you had actually done this project before. You had created a Dropbox called Floor Plans. And then you made a, a, a page called Downtown Miami. You have already done these. You don't need to do these again. Just make new folders for every condominium building for, for Downtown Living Miami in the Dropbox. Go into MLS, scf.mlexchange.com. Click on Home. Click on Smart Links. Click on My Condo Plans. When you click on it, this screen pops up. So, for example, in downtownlivingmiami.com, the first complex is 50 Biscayne. You've already done that one. Uh, there's another complex called 500 Brickle. You can look up by building name or by building address. 500 Brickle, there's actually two towers. So, click on the East Tower, and out pops the picture. Save this picture and use it as one of the photos for the, for the picture. Um, then you have to select a unit. Just pick the first unit that's on the list, and the floor plan pops up. You want to download the floor plan, but first enlarge it so you can see it. And you can see this is the line 00. zero. Make sure you create a separate page just for this site plan. So you see it has West Tower and East Tower. So there are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. And the same thing there. So there are 10 floor plans in each one. So you, you know you have to make 10 uh, printouts for each tower. Once you've done the one, the zero line, then just click on 1001. And the 01 unit pops up. That's the 01. You got to do that all 10 times for each one. There should be a separate page for each one in each building. Save them to the Dropbox and you're complete. For the floor plan, so then you would just download each one after that. Save. And it starts downloading. Make sure that you put together one file with the cover page, which is the, the, the site plan, and then the 10 floor plans underneath. There should be one file for each.